Ladies and gentlemen, I am bubbling with anticipation. Liquid versus Fnatic. Like both offlaners having six deaths by the 10 minute mark or so. Uh -oh. Yeah. Speaking of deaths, MP taking that Ghost Shroud early, but the punches are going to come fast and furious, and MP walking down, getting killed, and maybe even be able to turn this one back around, though. Curl, they trade over the aggro to keep alive GH, and he's going underneath the tower. He's salving. All right, Curl. He's safe. Easy peasy. It's pretty nice for the Brewmaster as Curl again going to move forward and just bully away jabs here. I'm sure that there was a deny exchange, <laughs> and then they tip each other fine. This tip is because <laughs> I'll oh. right after, but... Good avalanche there. Hits onto both of them, and now MP in some trouble here. He's trying to stick around a little bit longer. DJ making the rotation, the hoof stomp, able to catch for the moment. Shadow going to start laying into all of these heroes, and if Fnatic are careful, they're going to lose several. Cheech uh -oh. able to walk away to the side. Jabs isn't going to be able to quite get the kill, and he keeps eating his way through the trees, living, and with the oh. stick charges, they all go down. We'll see if they decide to make that movement. Jabs runs into Kuro, and, well, I think that puts the kibosh on it. Yeah, that's not who they want. Can they go for this top now, though, onto Mind Control? Shackles able to catch Control for a long time. Mind Control surge away, ends up going down. DJ gets the kill. So I think with Jabs, they can make some good combos come out, because they don't need a Blink Dagger if you have the Tiny. You can toss your Brewmaster in to make a lot of those initiations. Although we're going to pull back in here onto GH Thinks. Well, he's living for the moment, but will eventually be brought down there. And now the Poison Touch. Tumba Man just trying to keep him alive. Kuro finds the Hoof Stomp. They're in pretty deep here. And with the bad juju starting to build up, there's a chance that they could think about turning this. But really, it's just Fnatic that want to keep chasing forward. They get the catch here onto that Dazzle and Kuro. He is also going to fall. They can pull him back down with the Spell Magic. And now the Avalanche chasing forward. If they can kill off this Dazzle, no points in Grave. This is huge for Fnatic. I think Shadow's mostly just going to be jungling. You see here as well that GH moves into position, but DJ was already there anticipating that movement from the Grimstroke. And MP has his level six, finds himself the kill he wants. He's trickling back up. He's actually surpassed his Shadow Shaman in net worth now in the Necropos. <laughs> Your heart Every out. little thing matters. Toss away, does not want that centaur near him, and he's underneath the tower now. Kuro tries to stampede away, but it's not happening. Ooh, Fnatic, keep finding these kills. Always having a ward in the enemy, well, at least one of the enemy jungles is really important. MP Ooh. is, he's positioned down here. They'll try and take this fight. It's a smoke up now again from the Tiny and the Deuce, and MP walks forward, trying to sandwich them here as they come around from the other side, and now Liquid chasing forward. Kuro's there as well, stampede onto MP. He's ghost shrouding, trying to live through all of this, and Fnatic just trying to spring the trap onto him in a second. They're trying to kill him off. They almost they get, get it, Shadow. they do! Jabs finds the kill onto Shadow. So clutch, they lose the Necro, but now they've found more here as well. With the Bruce Split chasing down Matumba Man, and Mind Control lifted up into the air, they might end up losing just about all their cores here. But Tumba Man already has the Grave, trying to get the walk away, the vacuum interrupting things. But eventually, they will take what they came for. And Mind Control also ran after. Toss up into the air. This has been a complete and utter disaster oh for Liquid. God. MP with the Jabate. Mind Control. Aiden, smoke up from three on the other side. Over by the tier two tower in the mid lane, and Ice 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 wants to chase down Cinder Brew onto Mind Control as the clap afterwards to get that further slow. And now the shackles coming in, they want to chase forward. The rest of Liquid is showing up. He's very tanky with this pipe, healing back up, but he That's is going to end up in the grave. Now the oh, turn the they pull it back together with the vacuum and the hook stuff. Fnatic absolutely destroyed in Mind Control, living through it all. They're actually buying back on this tiny, but they really want to go into this. Abed thinking about chasing forward. He has an Aegis, still will to chase forward and try and find this kill. Can he do it in time, Curl? Live in very, very low HP. The Cinderbrew now onto Shadow. He might start hitting himself as well. And oh my good God, Liquid baited that one out. Might be able to take this fight afterwards. Kuro is so freaking low, he's gonna try and walk away. Shadow Metamorphosis, it's down. It's still gonna be used. And can they kill them all off? The Avalanche coming from Jabs. This fight keeps going to Sunder. Able to turn it again onto Abed. And now just trying to run away with that Surge. They have the Stone Gates. And there's gonna be the Reaper's Sight to follow. Somehow, some way, Fnatic, with buyback coming from Tiny, they make the difference. They just, Abed just strolls in. <laughs> they can't deal with this Medusa. She's far too tanky, and she's not even level 20 just yet. She's about to be with that extra mana talent. Definitely. So now the next race, race to the timing is pretty much going to be Abed on the butterfly. That one is probably going to be the biggest one. If he's able to get it fast, Shadow's going to be really limited, because he has to go for the BKB before he can go for MKB. Level 20 do so with the whole team behind Abed. 
They have the bad juju, they create the illusion, the Hex to try and interrupt and turn it, but that means they can't take away the Medusa illusion. They're soul binded together. Abbott, he has no mana at low. all. In trouble, trying to turn the Stampede to chase forward for more. A long duration stun there. Can he get anything off? He is going to end up throwing out that Reaper Sight, but still living through it. Oh, the lift up there to interrupt the Sunder. Can they kill him off in time? The taunt, they're almost finding it. They actually can the kill, oh and Terrorblade is going to go down. And now trying to chase forward for more. There's the lift up onto one. The well, now the Shackles and the Avatos to follow it up as well. They can buy back on the TV if they want to, but the chase forward coming from Fnatic might be too strong. Might control Crave yet again, keeping him alive, waiting for the full duration of this hoof stump. They are disabled for absolutely ever. Oh my they God. kill off Ice, 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 and MP also possibly going to fall here as Matumba Man finds his prize for dead. And Fnatic, they're going to lose possibly one more here as well. They all die. They're looking to take this fight before looking for the Rose. Shadow's just walking in. Uh, they both have high ground vision right now, but Fnatic, they pop the BKB. Abed is there as well. They're on top of the Shrine already. Soulbind onto one. They're going to use that Bruce split, and Abed still living, but he can't actually get into range to hit these heroes. Now Liquid maybe going a bit too far uh -oh. forward. So much damage coming from the right clicks. Jabs looks like he might end up going down, but they have the Reaper Scythe to take down Mind Control. They haven't been able to deal with the Dazzle, but that's just because he's lifted up in the air. And now Shadow fully isolated away from the rest of his team. The Hex is there. The Shackle onto the Dazzle, keeping him away from Shadow so he can't get off the Grave, but the Inkswell to try and turn and now they find the grave onto him. Now the vacuum. Stop. There's the hook stop. Can they kill him off in time? It's so much damage out there, and they just need to disengage. The surge away, trying to walk. Shadow is at too low HP, and now they've got him caught. The, the shackles, they're trying to kill him off in time before he can get any type of a sunder off. It's still on cooldown. They can't take that fight, and Liquid lose four. Oh, my God. All right, so Roche going to go down and Fnatic. 15 seconds until Wall is back up from the Darkseer. As Abed... Wants to take down this melee barracks, but also in Shadow down to about half HP. Yeah, he sees that there's no butterfly being built, so he knows he can go for that straight damage on the Dusa too. There's the hook stomp, the jump in. It wasn't perfectly timed. Nice, nice, nice. He's able to get the BKB off Shadow, walking forward in the duration of his BKB. He's going to start the reflection now. Abed hitting his friends and almost Matumba. finding the kill on a Matumba Man. He does go down. He's a no buyback. buyback. 70 seconds. Now they have a lift up onto that Centaur as well. In the air and Fnatic, they are in Liquid's base. And Abed still sitting tall and fine with this Aegis, but the rest of his teammates don't have it, and he's starting to hurt him pretty hard. Now the Hex, the follow-up coming. They have the Soulbind, but DJ walking forward, and he the does BKB. find the Shadow. But they're still living through this for the moment. The Avalanche, the Toss, Jab's trying to do it. They get the Reaper Sight. There's the kill. No buyback for the Terra Blade. And Fnatic just going to walk tall through the entire base and start to take down these Tier 3 towers. Man, I'm loving these like these Shadow Shaman builds that we're seeing. This like Blink BKB build. How do you deal with it if he just grabs somebody? And now Fnatic, GG. They just, they've done it. But the Medusa proves to be too strong. Yeah. We are here again. It is game number two, Liquid versus Fnatic. And Invoker, there's a reason you don't see this hero pick too much, is because it's so weak inside the cleaning phase. Oh, oh he doesn't actually get the courier. And the battle strike to turn it. Jab's in some trouble. Looks He's like gonna he die. might go down here. Yeah, the punch is coming. He's going to count to four. Get the life steal, and now the roll in. He's going to steal the kill. GH, wanting to give it to Matumba Man, the slow burn. And uh, Matumba Man draws first blood. He's pulling the creeps to the neutrals constantly, and my control doesn't actually want him to be able to accelerate his farm. So, trying to slow him down. Roll in there on the Abed. Wanting to get the kickback. This is going to be a problem. Sunstrike, he's luring GH into it, and looks like he's not going to be able to find the kill on the Earth Spirit as Abed goes down. MP looking a little sheepish after that one. Don't think he gets him anyway. It's a seven armor Darkseer. Not a very squishy hero. Uh-oh, GH. Ooh, the toss interrupting the Echo Stomp, but it might still be enough. DJ wanting to chase and find this kill. GH does have the roll. Or DJ rather. Sun strike. <gasps> oh, he still finds it. Gets the vision, though, right there as well. Yep. You're not going to do anything versus this Darkseer. So the, the elusiveness cool. of mid lane. mid lane. They drop down the Meteor on him, a Tumble Man, and now the jump forward. MP wants to find this kill, and Monkey King looks like he's going to pop the stick charge, just living for the moment, but will eventually be brought down with that Omni Slash use. Mind Control has also showed up. He's going to vacuum back in, but can't quite get that kill. And now MP continues to chase forward, finds a secondary kill for himself. So over and over again, they're finding these. Fnatic. Pretty far forward, they lose Kuro too. Well, is he? So much magic damage. Water blast, and all right, never mind. He shouldn't be fine. <laughs> Jeff's just going to die. <laughs> These kills can happen so quickly. They haven't shown yep. GH or mind control there, but the roll forward, and now the kickback going to come, possibly, or just going to get slow afterwards. And it looks like DJ is going to fall. So Liquid picking up speed here. 
I mean, yeah, it's crazy right now. Morphling is completely alone there, and they didn't feel like they could go on him. Abed about to be revealed with Matumba Man nearby. GH rolls in. Oh, he could have broke the tree. Matumba Man. There's no way for him to follow up as of yet. Now they have jabs in the area. Winter's Curse gets dropped down. Nobody else is caught in that one, but it looks like Abed's going to be able to get the walk away. Dust is still on him, and they reapply the Magnetize. I mean, that's pretty nice. That's 769 gold? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Not even a kill streak. That's just because of how much net worth advantage Liquid has. And the other thing is, too, it's time off the map for him. And now they're able to find the stomp. The Avalanche toss it falls a second time through. Fnatic with the Blink Dagger make it happen. They're finding a lot. GH as well. In some trouble, out of mana, and DJ gonna try and run him down as he smells blood. Although Matumbo Man, he walks into all of them. Ice 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 has no mana right now, MP. Does he have the Omni Slash? Oh my he doesn't God. have the mana for it afterwards. This Monkey King is just a menace. And Cold Embrace from Jabs to keep him alive. They disarm the Monkey King, able to walk away there. The Earth Splitter coming through. They kill off Jabs. Earn Charge onto one. Can they kill him off in time? Ice 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 used the Soul Ring and jumps back in, but they can't find that kill. Shadow's here now. And this is where they have to disengage. So wanting to get that one last finish onto G8. They have Morphling and Monkey King. These two heroes are fine with going late game. Even if they're versus Invoker and Jug, they're okay with this because BKBs are BKBs are gonna be the name of the game. When Liquid gets BKBs, Invoker's gonna have like the worst, like most horrible time oh. possible. Bit of a misclick there. I can drop it. Drop it down. He's trading the Omni Slash with the illusion. Oh, nice play there. And Matumbo Man now trying to turn this one back around. GH able to find the stun, and now MP slowed down, vacuum back. There's going the to curse. be the Winter's Curse, though, to turn back around. Did they time it perfectly? No, it's not quite on the mark, but the Avalanche follow up with the toss. They find that secondary kill, and now MP getting another. This is a dead supernova. Whoa, Liquid, whoa, whoa. what have you done? And trying to dodge away from the tornado. Can they catch up to mind control? It doesn't look like it. Biggest thing for them now. Just get that Earth Spirit on top of the, either the Elder Titan or on top of that Wyvern for them to get the initiation while another sign. Fnatic, they just need to try to do this. Just get an instant catch, try oh. to toss somebody back more. GH, that's kind of an initiation for him though. The Cold Snap is there, the Silence now onto two, and Liquid trying to chase forward for this one. They roll in a second time, reapplying the Magnetize, seeing if they can chase forward. Matumbo Man, Boundless Strike only onto one MP, and he's gonna throw out that Omni Slash onto GH. Might be able to find the kill Curse. solo, and the big Winter's Curse draining all the mana. The, the combo. Disarm, the combo is beautiful. The egg is down though, can that turn it back around in time? Are they gonna be able to bring down the egg? They do kill it off, MP with the double, and now Matumbo Man isolated away from the rest of his teams. Can they take down the tree? Ice 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 looking for for the catch, but he guesses wrong, and Matumbo Man gets out. Oh, this Aegis, it's really important. Kuro, the Sunray, they Splitter. have the Earth Splitter onto two. It's not gonna be enough damage, and now trying to get the Supernova down. They don't have any heroes on top of this one at all. Going in in the middle of all of them. Can they kill him off the time? He's able to steal it away. MP in the midst of the Omni steals the Aegis, but now he needs to get out as well. Shadow wanting to chase these heroes down. The Boundless Strike interrupting the combo coming from Abed, and now the Magnetize. It's onto three of them beautifully. They're all disarmed by that Deafening Blast, but can they kill off Kuro in time? Kuro walking forward, but the chase comes from MP and they kill him off. Chaos in Ma the river. Matumba Man died in the back lines too. Ice 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 found him. Shadow's out of mana. They're looking to keep this chase on. Oh, they're just the gonna throw the curse. curses back up and they're on top of this Morphling. Well played all around. The vacuum to try and get Shadow out of there. He's doing everything that he possibly can. The Avalanche is able to jump away. The Sun Strike, it's not gonna be there. He surged away. Oh my god. <laughs> and Shadow somehow, someway gets away from the mess. MP. What a boss. Mid lane. Ice 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 is here. Wants to help out his buddy. Well, he is flying away now. And Shadow. the avalanche tossed the sun oh strike. Oh my god. That can't happen. Shadow just got baited by Jabs. Obviously, Liquid or uh, oh. Fnatic might not know about this. Matum Matumba Man. Matumba Man's pretty far forward too. Ice Ice Ice, he's found him. The BKB comes out. He's going to try and get the life steal up for himself in a second. But now Mind Control having already died. They chase forward. They blow up the tree. Uh, GH takes it oh down. And now a Sun Strike. Oh it finds God. the kill. Liquid have fallen apart. GH going to hit hit here with the Cold Snap. He's on top of the shrine. But all four heroes go down and none of them have buyback. MP just Omni Slash killed two people. He's got a full butterfly coming out of the courier on top too. This could just be game. Liquid right. just completely crumbled. They do have buyback again on Morphling. He was able to get it with the passive gold, but already having taken down the bottom set of racks. And now the Phoenix also, Kuro, he's controlled the cold snap. Kuro is dead as well when he comes down from the tornado. Abed's on top of him. What the hell just happened? What? I Shadow gets caught in no man's land and they all go try to help him and everybody else just dies too. And Fnatic just look like they can just end the game off of it. 12,000 net worth lead. MP sets his sight on this top tower. And Fnatic, 
after looking a little bit shaky through the group stages, are looking to move on in this tournament. They've just been playing much more confidently as a team in comparison to Liquid. Liquid's Avalanche. making mistakes all over the place. They have the cold embrace. Ice, ice, ice. He's going to toss him back forward. No, Shadow actually gets the toss away, switching over to the other side. But with Tubman, he gets hit by the bash. Can't get the Wukong's command out. No buyback. Yet again, they kill off Mind Control. They're looking for Shadow as the Avalanche is going to fall. They He's try and control dead. Abed, and this one is feeling dang near over. Yeah, they can't take, especially if the ET is able to walk next to you with their Monkey King and a Morphling, you can't take the fight. You're going to die from that natural order. And the Cataclysm, oh, it comes out as well. They take is down that? Shadow. No buyback. GG is called Fnatic or moving on. It was looking, uh, Liquid were looking like they had a really strong start.